whatever. Greetings, Keech Lanes. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of Mashal Magic and Muscles and with guest. Hello. Cousin Eric. My chair is thinking, so I'll be getting shorter as this reaction goes. Um, but yes, last time, Ro. Yeah. Ryo. Ryo. I, I, I'm not the best with names, people. Uh, showed off some of his power as the candle came, and he's just going to giggle and not know what's going on. Um, but yeah, took out the King of the Giants, and uh, let's see where things go from here. Okay, the city was under attack. Stay put, you damn tramp. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Wait, that's a demon. We haven't seen demons in the series yet that I'm aware of. So I can kill you. Oh, and her name is Sophina Babelia, the Knowledge King. Okay, I recommend curving your vulgar tongue, lest you regret your words. You dare to threaten me, Damie? Arms? What? His last name is Arms? That, that... He doesn't even have multiple arms. It's like, well, where did this name come from? It's like, well, I guess my name is... Keishan Head now, you know. Um, uh, Chief of the Gargoyles. Oh, the Gargoyles are a part of this. Okay. I ought to tear off your limbs and make a, a sheesh kebab out of them. Okay. Words are how we give meaning to our actions. Oh, she's about to use word magic. They may be words of healing or words of harm. And there they go, they're coming out of her book. I shall tear off your limbs of... Oh. His word... Oh, she changed it to... Me instead of you. <laughs> Which means it's probably going to happen to him now. Huh? I shall tear off my li... Oh, and he also said my. Um, tear off my limbs and make a sheesh kebab out of me? Why would I say, uh-oh, well, he's st oh, yep, it, have you ever heard of the, like, uh, cursed typewriter thing? Not really. Where it's like you have this whole thing where the typewriter, anything you type, becomes real, uh -huh. kind of deal. <clears throat> That's essentially what her magic seems to be. Because he's now just tearing into his arm. What am I doing to my arm? Be mindful of your words. Don't say I didn't warn you. And there he goes. He apparently got his, his head cut off and now it's kebobbed. Did she do that? Or did he somehow do that to himself? That was kind of weird. <clears throat> but I like her magic. Okay, now we've got what looks like a water... Oh, ice cane. Okay. Uh, Surara Hailstone. Who are you? Oh, you're fighting... Centaurs. I am chief of the centaurs. Palto Torre. Oh, they've got no pupils in their eyes and they have little nose rings. So I am to face the ice visionary, a fitting opponent for me. And why is that? Is it because you run in the fields of cup? Well, they're already dead. They've been frozen. I guess that when we saw her stepping, that was water there from the um, fountain we saw, and then she just flash froze everything. Okay. Cold. So cold. Oh, she's affected by her own magic. Okay. Why does it have to be so cold? I wish I had something warm like fire magic, and she just slipped on her own goddamn ice and bumped her ass head. Oh, shit. She knocked her ass out. And she's bleeding. My magic really is the worst. Boy, that's... That's sad. <clears throat> okay, there's a headless statue or whatever. Puh, pushovers, every one of them. Who the hell are you, orcs? Um, are none of you strong enough to challenge the king of the... Or not king, the chief of the orcs? Well, I guess I was right. Um, mumble, mumble, mumble. Oh, the dragon cane. Oh, so he, he's gonna use, 
probably dragon summoning magic or just have like dragon attributes or something hmm. but anyway let's see here grant us forgiveness for our sins O oh merciful gods and just who are you and oh he's looking like a frog for we cannot live without taking the lives of other creatures life is after all an inherent selfish act what let us continue on our selfish path and spare us these unclean lives we must live what in the hell are you mumbling about over there <clears throat> oh sh well he summoned a dragon it came out the ground what uh, uh, some of the goblin looking orcs are like they're like boss there's something behind you I have sinned a well so that guy's dead now I have sinned again this day this makes 9,978 times tomorrow I pray I pray tomorrow is better well <clears throat> okay and now we have oh this guy's name is doom He's uh, a brother to the main character, Mash. Uh, meanwhile, had a feeling jumping ahead would be smart. I was right. Oh, another, uh, this little dude here, that'd be another visionary. They're powerful magic users. Man, I love the perks of this job. Forgot who, what his magic was. Um, anyway. No one gets mad when the guy uh, you kill is a bad guy. Oh, the immort- Oh, yeah, 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 he has the zombie magic. Uh, Renatus Rebel, the immortal cane. Since the others aren't here yet, I get you all to myself. Okay, he put his sword down. That's one might- uh, That's one weighty sword. Oh, shit- well, that, okay, he just destroyed everything, oh, well, he cut him his head in half, but hey, he's the immortal cane for a reason, I imagine he can regen from that, um, okay, he's wiping the blade off, I don't know what, uh, you expected of me, but, to me, this is quite meaningless, as he walks away as the parts, let the bodies hit the floor. Hit the floor. And now a giant zombie hand comes out. He cuts that to pieces too. The viscera of Rinatos is about to open its eye. Yep, there he goes. He's a reforming. Oh look, part of his head. Man, it's stuff like this that makes life worth living. Why does it look like a bunch of worms? I'm sure that's supposed to be like blood vessels and stuff and muscle sinew, but still. An immortal. Meanwhile, Mash is still getting uh, healed by Meridol. Turn, damn you! I told you the training might kill him if it's true. But if he actually dies, it'll still be kind of my fault. I want everyone to know I warned him. Get up, will you? He's only He only went up 10% healing from the last chapter. She's not happy. And that's the end of that chapter. Okay. I mean, my thoughts on it were we got to see more of the Canes actually do magic. Effortlessly, you know, taking out the chiefs of various, you know, groups. So, uh, which one of the Canes did you like the most? You had the, the one that summoned the dragon. Then you had the zombie one. And then you had the ice one. Nice. Oh, because of the comical bit where she hates her own magic. Yeah, irony. Irony there. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like the zombie dude best. Renatus, we've seen him like summon a giant hand like what you saw there when he tried to attack from behind. But that's basically all we've ever really seen of him, if I remember right. So, but still kind of a cool character um plot wise i mean we're taking out nameless jobbers at this point i mean i don't even actually did the orc even have a name 
I don't think he did. The centaur, he did have a name, not that it really mattered, and neither did the... The giant had a name, I think. Last chapter, but it's like they're becoming less and less important as the thing goes on. It's like, well, this army was doomed to fail if their leaders are being wiped out, supposedly the strongest of their race. So, not looking good for the enemy army, at least the, you know, monster portions of them. Because, um, I mean, hell, we got a dude with a fucking dragon. So, it's like, you you want a strong magical beast? Well, there you go. Um, yeah, Mash is healing slowly, but, I mean, it's over the course of a 24-hour period. It's been, like, 10 minutes. Um... Well, maybe half a day at this point, but still. Uh, oh, probably not even that. It's probably been a few hours. Either way, it's not been very long. But anyway, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I mis misunderstood? Um, any final words from you, Eric? No. Hmm. He's a man of very few words. Mostly because what I'm reading, he has no clue. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. He's a clueless boy. Um, but anyway, links down below for all my social media. He did this in five other videos. It gets weird. I never get used to it. Anyway, social media is down below, all that good stuff. Uh, I stream on Twitch. I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Groom Reaper's channel. And, uh, yeah. Got a Discord. And all that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Until next time, later days. And, uh, zombie man for the win, I guess? I don't know.